chapter 6 then the lord said unto moses now shalt thou see what i will do to pharaoh for with a strong hand shall he let them go and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land and god spake unto moses and said unto him i am the lord and i appeared unto abraham and to isaac and to jacob and by the name of god almighty but by name jehovah was i not known to them and i have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of canaan the land of their pilgrimage wherein they were strangers and i have also heard the groaning of the children of israel whom the egyptians keep them in bondage and i have remembered my covenant wherefore say unto the children of israel i am the lord and i will bring you out from under the burdens of egyptians and i will write you out of their bondage and i will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with the great judgments and i will take you to me for a people and i will be to you a god and you shall know that i am the lord your god which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the egyptians and i will bring you in unto the land concerning the which i did swear to give it to abraham to isaac and to jacob and i will give it to you for an heritage i am the lord and moses spake so unto the children of israel but they hearkened not unto moses for anguish of spirit and for cruel bondage and the lord spake unto moses saying go in speak unto pharaoh king of egypt that he let the children of israel go out of this land and moses spake before the lord saying behold the children of israel have not hearkened unto me how then shall pharaoh hear me who am of uncircumcised lips and the lord spake unto moses and unto aaron and gave them a charge unto the children of israel and unto pharaoh king of egypt to bring the children of israel out of the land of egypt these be the heads of their fathers houses the sons of reuben the first born of israel hanok and fallu ezron and carmi these be the families of reuben and the sons of simeon samuel yamin ohad and yakin and shokar and shahul the son of a kanantis woman these are the families of simeon and these are the names of the sons of levi according to their generations gershon and gohath and merari and the years of the life of levi were an 130 and 7 years the sons of gershon libni and shimi according to their families and the sons of gohath amram ishkar hebron and uziel the years of the life of gohath were an 130 and 3 years the sons of merari mahali mushi these are the families of levi according to their generations and amram took him yokefeth his father's sister to wife and she bare him aaron and moses and the years of the life of amram were an 130 and 7 years and the sons of ishkar kora 
Nepek, Jikri, and the sons of Ujiel, Mahshayel, Yelshapan, and Shitri. And Aaron took him, Yelshaba, daughter of Aminadab, sister of Nashon, to wife. And she bare him, Nadab, and Abiyu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. And the sons of Korah, Asir, and Elkana, and Abiyashab. These are the families of Korhites. And Eleazar, Aaron's son, took him one of the daughters of Putiel, the wife, and she bare him Pinakas. These are the heads of the fathers of Levites according to their families. These are that Aaron and Moses, to whom the Lord said, Bring out the children of Israel from the land of Egypt according to their armies. These are they which spake to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring out of the children of Israel from Egypt. These are that Moses and Aaron. And it came to pass on the day when the Lord spake unto Moses in the land of Egypt, that the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I am the Lord. Speak thou unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I say unto thee. And Moses said before the Lord, Behold, I am of uncircumcised lips, and how shall Pharaoh hearken unto me?